It was March 7, 1922, when Anna and Alexander Ladyanskia welcomed their youngest daughter Olga into the world. Hello, it is Olga. From the beginning, Olga had a great relationship to her father, a well-known mathematician. The Russian government, however, was very strict on intellectuals during this time period. They were considered serious threats to the communist government. One day, soldiers showed up at their house and took their oldest father away. Olga's dad was killed in a torture chamber shortly after, along with many other intellectuals during the time period. Unfortunately, this practice was common because it helped Stalin remain an unchallenged leader in Russia. However, the death of her father did not stop 15-year-old Olga from furthering her love of math. Even though Olga worked extremely hard and was highly intelligent, she was turned away from many universities due to her family's past. Even though she was barred from university, Olga continued to teach others about the subject of math, free of charge. One of Olga's former students was able to convince those in charge at Moscow State University to allow her entrance into their math department. While at the university, Olga's love of math began to flourish. She was extremely focused on her studies. After she graduated, she married fellow mathematician Andrei Alexevich. He wanted to settle down and have children, while Olga felt that her sole focus should be on her studies. The couple divorced soon after. During this time, Olga became very interested in a few different types of mathematical equations, including linear and quasi-linear, elliptic, parabolic, and hyperbolic partial differential equations. She also wrote many mathematical classics, including mixed problems of hyperbolic equations and a mathematical theory of viscous incompressible flow. In my book about viscous incompressible flow, I discuss fluid dynamics and hydrodynamics. Throughout my book, I will teach you how to arrive at your inequalities by following the Navier-Stokes system, as well as Navier-Stokes equations. These equations are particularly important if you wish to study Newton's second law of fluid motion and find out how a fluid's velocity, pressure, or the fluid dynamic. I will also teach about incompressible flows and how they must be set up so that the divergency of velocity field is equal to zero. In response to her teaching, Olga received high praise and even several awards. Some of these include the first prize of Leningrad State University, the Shevishev Prize, and the State Prize of the USSR. In 1990, she became the president of the St. Petersburg Mathematical Society. Olga's work has revolutionized the scientific and mathematical communities and still continues to impact them today. Young mathematicians all over the world study her books and many more keep them as references in case they ever stumble upon a hyperbolic equation that needs solving.